With thousands of types of snakes found throughout the world, very few are unique enough to become well-known among the general public. Large and impressive species such as boas and pythons are usually the most famous, in addition to highly venomous serpents like rattlers and cobras. There are many lesser known species which deserve greater recognition, but few are as interesting as the rough green snake. Found across the southeastern US, these tiny reptiles thrive in wooded areas from the Florida Panhandle to the southern regions of New Jersey. With such an expansive range, it is obvious that they are excellent survivors. On a recent expedition to eastern North Carolina, I was lucky enough to find one of these elusive creatures. Now this, as many of you may know, is a rough green snake. Now you guys can tell this is extremely, extremely iconic snakes in general. It's long, it's slender, and it's green. This is like every little picture you painted as a kid of a snake when your teacher asked you to paint one, right? Now look at that, just look at these colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous snake. The dorsal pattern is that really, really nice dark green and the ventral pattern is almost a creamy white, yellowish color. Oh, they're just such, such gorgeous snakes, guys. And I, I just love how green snakes look. Now let's see, let's get them all stretched out. Come here, buddy. Now you see how long and slender these snakes are? The reason that they are so thin and lightweight is because most of their lives are spent in trees. When an animal exhibits this behavior, it is known as an arboreal species. I was extremely fortunate to have found this snake on a road, actually. Normally, they are not going to leave their trees because when they are in their element, they are almost impossible to spot. Their camouflage is absolutely impeccable. Now, green snakes actually have some really cool behaviors which help them deter predators. First off is that amazing camouflage, but second off is when they're in a tree, they'll actually bob their heads to make them look like a stick in the wind. You see that head bobbing right there? It looks just like a stick. Incredible camouflage. Absolutely awesome snake. And when they're up in a green tree, you cannot see them. They are almost invisible. Now, what do they eat? You guys are probably wondering, what does a snake this small actually eat? So rough green snakes will stick to the trees. They'll hunt all kinds of different insects they can find up there. Rarely are they ever found on the ground. And when they are, it's always a pleasure to see them. This is the first one I've ever found. You can just see on their head how big their eyes are comparative to the rest of their skull. They're pretty visual hunters. Of course they use their sense of smell like all other snakes, but they get excellent eyesight both in the day and at night. These snakes are not constrictors, nor do they have venom. Because they prey mostly on insects, they simply overpower their meal before swallowing it whole. Now, they're very popular pets because of how iconic they are, but if you do find rough green snakes in the wild, I would tell you not to take them out. They are a very important part of the ecosystem, preying on insects, and also, as such small snakes, they are prey for lots and lots of predators. So please do not remove these from the ecosystem if you find them, no matter how cute they are. Alright, we'll get this gorgeous snake off this road, and so we won't get hit by any cars, and it'll blend right in with this vegetation. We're actually going to bring it over here to a spot where it can climb up a tree. Up. There it goes. Guys, look at that. Look how graceful these are in the tree. Well, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the rough green snake. Make sure to subscribe right now for new wildlife content coming every Thursday morning. Thanks, everybody, and have a wild day. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.